To summarize, traditionalists ignore Quran, which actually goes back to the Prophet, and favor hadiths, which were mass fabricated in a much later period, and consensus, all of which was rooted in local customs and practices. And that's why there's a discontinuity between Quran and early Islamic law, which many Western scholars have also noted. In fact, the raw material of this early Islamic law was formed to a great extent from non-Islamic sources, that is from Christian Rome, Zoroastrian Persia, and Jewish law. These outside laws include the laws against apostasy, rules of imperial warfare, laws regarding slavery and concubinage, laws of divorce veiling, etc. These are the influences that are at play. Islamic modernism, my fourth argument, is that it is more moral. Islamic modernists have religious viewpoints that line up with their innate, God-given moral sense and moral reasoning, whereas traditionalists force themselves to accept morally atrocious viewpoints in order to conform to medieval tradition. And that's why they approve conquest slavery, sex slavery, and all of these other things that come from imperial conquest. The early Islamic empires modeled themselves after neighboring Roman and Persian empires. And my fifth argument is that Islamic modernism is actually more family-oriented. Islamic modernists stress the importance of lifelong monogamous marriage, forbidding premarital and extramarital sex, or easy divorce, with obligations of the father as a lifelong partner, whereas the medieval Islamic tradition endorsed absolute sexual debauchery that leads to the disintegration of family life. What are the family values that Daniel speaks of? The medieval Islamic tradition allowed unlimited sex slavery, eunuchs to guard the sex harem, pederasty was normalized, polygamy along with easy instant divorce for the husband, child marriage. This is not, these are not good values. The values we should look for are in the Quran. And the key value that we should look at is insania or humanism. This is based on the idea of basic human equality, which is uh, endorsed in the Quran in multiple places where we are told that we all come from the same soul. Unfortunately, the Islamic tradition not only said that Muslims are superior to non-Muslims, but they said that Arabs are superior to non-Arabs. And they would oppose the proponents of equality who are considered to be blasphemous uh, innovators. This is endorsed by uh, the Sunni mainstream. Here's Ibn Taymiyyah saying it's Sunni orthodoxy to believe that the Arab race is superior to the non-Arab races. And that's because of the quality of their minds. Here's Islam Q&A, a Salafi website saying that this is unanimously agreed that the Arabs are superior. And here's a Hanafi uh, 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 website saying the same thing. But we don't believe any of that. That goes against the Quran. We believe that all human beings have ex uh, exceptional human dignity and exceptionality because God himself has honored them. And this is because we are God-breathed. Because we are God-breathed, anyone who kills a soul, it is as if he kills all of humankind. This makes our human uh, lives inviolable. And it also makes so you can't enslave anyone. Now, as far as slavery, it was a deeply ingrained institution and a social factor during the Prophet's lifetime. However, the Quran does not allow the enslaving of prisoners of war. Similarly, the Quran mandates that sexual intercourse can only take place with a marriage contract. Now, freedom of religion, liberty, is because of free will. God gives us free will, so no one can compel us if God didn't compel us. And th so that's why there's no compulsion in religion. Would you compel men till they become believers? If God had will, he would have made all of those on earth believe altogether. And this is actually echoed by John Locke all the way in uh, when he defended it in modern to bring up modern liberalism. But anyways, this is an idea that goes to the Quran. Specifically, the Quran allows the freedom to choose or leave a religion, and apostasy laws are therefore anti-Quranic. We also believe in sul ikul, or the idea of peace with all, universal peace. Specifically, we believe that the Quran categorically forbids wars of aggression. These are my